Hey Fruit Faces, it's Clary Berry and I just want to chat with you guys today about food choices. Um, I know that it's very easy in this day and age to get really, really excited about new vegan products. I love new vegan products. I mean, who doesn't? Even non-vegans love non-vegan products at this point because there's so many and there's, I mean, there's just so many to try and so many of them are so delicious. Veganism is just growing, it's booming, and that's excellent, and it's cool because we have so many new products, but um, I have noticed myself and others getting kind of pulled into this trap of feeling like you have to support it. You have to support, especially if you find something that's like local and vegan, then you're like, oh my gosh, I have to get this brand, you know, like I have to come out, I have to go to this event, I have to go to that event, I have to eat all of the vegan food just because it's vegan. And um, even the most well-meaning, you know, health conscious vegans are going to get sucked into this. And so this video is not for people who don't care about that. If you don't care about your health, then that's your own prerogative. <laughs> or if you, you know, I mean, you just love vegan food and you prioritize that more, then that's your, absolutely your prerogative. But I am speaking for people like me who are health conscious and who do want to be as healthy as you can be. And also kind of help to explain and understand and you know be there for other people who also feel that their health is a form of vegan activism. I know a lot of people don't understand this and a lot of people think you know this activism is better than this activism and they don't really realize that you know for a lot of people including myself you know being a healthy living breathing human being in the face of all these you know lies that tell us you can't do that you literally need protein you so many people still think that you can't survive without meat, meat eggs meat eggs and dairy and all of that so the fact that you know not only am i healthy but i'm thriving visibly um that to me is the one of the most it has to be one of the most effective ways you know people always say it's not what you preach it's not what you say it's you leading by example and I find that to be really true so I for one kind of it's not just about oh I want to be healthy but it is tied up into my veganism so I want to be healthy like on numerous layers you know I mean obviously I want to grow old and not only grow old but also be like physically active when I'm older and you know somewhat attractive and you know, just feel good. Mainly, I want to feel good every day. So that's why I am not just a vegan, but high carb vegan and a low fat vegan. Um, so basically, you just have to strike up this balance. And ultimately, you just have to kind of step back from that whole idea, you know, that that financially, or even for your for your viewers and for your channel and for your Instagram just to share like that's not necessarily your responsibility to eat those things now if you want to take pictures if you want to share pictures and let other people know about new vegan alternatives that's great go for it and again if you want to eat them that's great go for it too but if you don't if you find that it's wrecking your diet you know and you might just need to stop and be honest with yourself and, and let yourself know and like be like, okay, what is my priority? Is my priority to be a vegan foodie or is my priority to be more of a health vegan at this point? What do I honestly feel like is the best? And here's my view on it. If I'm promoting a bunch of fatty ass vegan foods, fake stuff, you know, new stuff that's not even fully vegan, like tested on animals type of stuff, you might know what I'm talking about. Um, I've had a, a half of one. I've had an ha a half of an impossible burger. Sometimes I get this pull like, hey, go out and, you know, support these local businesses, support these businesses that are serving this. And I'm like, you know what? That is not my job. You know what I mean? Going out of my way as a single mom, spending all this money, like, is not going to help me. And it's also not going to help me reach my food, my health goals, because these foods are still, if they're prepared, you know, by somebody else, they're still, you know, extra salt, extra, it's just processed. Every time they get to processing stuff, you know, they mess it up and throw stuff in there. So I, I it's not that I'm against eating those types of foods. And if I'm in the right situation, I would absolutely not only promote, but consume, you know, vegan foods like this, but I'm not, I'm, I'm, 
I really had to make a conscious decision to say, you know what, I'm not going to make decisions on my pocketbook, on my health, you know, just because it's a new vegan product and I want to support veganism. Just realize it's like one of these things. You can't do everything. You can't be everything for veganism. You have to really sit down and think about what's best for you. And if you're like me, then you will say, you know what? I'm going to stop. I'm just going to cut off this pressure that I feel. I'm going to support the vegan products I love so that I know that they're always there and all of that and so that I can be the best I can be. And that's just all there is to it. So let me know what you guys think. Did you go through this sort of a thing? Do you still go through this? I mean, it's, I think it's something that's never going to fully go away, but my tastes are just so different now. And, you know, I've done really good like this, this holiday season, this um, Thanksgiving just passed. And usually um, afterwards, you know, I feel crappy and I eat way too much and then I have leftovers. The leftovers are what really get you. So it's not even Thanksgiving, but like the week after Thanksgiving. And I did okay. Um, like... I gained about five pounds, um, but I didn't like over, over, overdo it. I did, I overdid it with the ice cream a little bit. I didn't really do a huge meal. I just got, had my basics, mashed potatoes, lots of gravy. Got to make that gravy at home because you have just, I've just got to have a lot of gravy. <laughs> and Brussels sprouts were mainly my meal that I just, it just satisfies me so well. It's just so creamy, rich, hearty. And then ice cream, you know, that's the only desserts that I did. I just kind of overdid it and did a lot of them this year. So, you know, I still have urges too, and especially on special occasions, but I just don't need to eat it all the time. So thanks so much for watching. Like I said, let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to hear from me. Take care. Don't forget to eat your fruit. Catch me all over the social media world, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, and clarryberry.com. And uh, yeah, drop me a line. Talk to you later. Bye.